Alright. So originally, uh, wait. If you can see in the background, shoot. Originally, right here, I had both of my chains, or actually my binders, my ratchet binders, one here and one there. I had both, or one right there, and I had both of them, you know, pull into the. I was thinking I was pulling them to the uh, to opposite to the opposite side of the trailer. So I don't know. In my mind, at the time, that's what was gonna work. The day, but at the end of the day, that ended up pushing the actual load forward because. back hot shower me here is back on the road we just moved to a different state we're here got the new trailer spot no more gravel we on the concrete baby shit we on the concrete i don't gotta worry about no rocks scraping on my back and nothing like that but as you can see my truck and trailer they all ready for transport man all ready for transport and i had to change the tire this morning uh i found out you know pulled up and then i had to nail one of my tires uh but it's this one up here See if we can find out oh, the nail is right there. So probably this weekend, it's Tuesday right now. Probably this weekend I'm gonna go and uh, get some random tire shop uh, to go fix the tire for me. Hopefully they can plug it. Um, and it's 16 plus, so I don't really know. I don't really know uh, who can fix a 16 plus tire and plug it. I don't really know how that works, but it is what it is. Got the new spare on. I also have an extra tire, but I'm waiting for that to get up to here to this new state where we moved. Um, I shined them, you know. Still need the trailer still needs to be washed but it is what it is Tra truck is washed everything is ready to go the soil i'm picking up is about four hours away it's going to ohio and then after i hit ohio uh, i'm going to texas so this next load is a tarp load i think it's some glass hopefully it's not standing up uh, we'll see but anyway i'm uh getting ready to do my pre-trip even though i pretty much pre-tripped everything um and shoot ahead on the road but you all stay tuned your boy's back peace all right all right we are here at the spot getting the tempered glass Got on my truck. And what? Differential fluid. So it's my paint still again. I really gotta get that replaced. It was compromised when that tube, uh, when that tube fell off. So I gotta call these people and get it and get it replaced and call them. They loaded me up right now. I don't know what are you doing? But it is what it is. Yeah. So I gotta get that replaced. I'm gonna try to just hammer it in some more and uh, wipe it down real good because it's leaking and then not leaking, leaking and then not leaking. So. I'm gonna do that before I leave. Uh, but this all has to be tarred. And I guess it's taking some straps and some edge protectors and calling it a day. And uh, headed up, headed all the way back to uh, Dayton, Ohio. So I'm waiting on uh, to pretty much get done loaded. And uh, shoot, we're gonna call it a day. Me too. Y'all see this? That orange right there showing on that pinion seal means it's popped out. It's not seated to the actual differential. So I gotta hammer all that stuff back in. And eventually I'm gonna get it replaced because it's just it's making my differential stuff leak everywhere. Shoot, I don't really got time to do that, but shoot, I got two hammers. I got a mallet hammer. Well, this is my regular hammer, and then I also got a mallet hammer I'm gonna pop it in place with we call it a day. But I'm gonna get to it because they loaded me right now and I don't wanna be up under this truck while they loaded me. But peace. Shoot, and if you guys can see, this side is even worse. That whole seal. Hold on, where is it? That whole seal right there is popped out. I just need to get the whole thing replaced, but I'm gonna pop it back in um, and shoot and call it a day. But all right. All right, guys, so I just finished replacing that, uh, well, not replacing it, but popping that pinion seal back in. Um, it's under warranty, so when I get it, when I take it, take the truck back up to the shop, I should just be able to pop a brand new one in and call it a day. Um, I'm so tired of smelling differential fluid, man. This is this is not a good look. I'm not trying to pull up and then have a random inspection of my pinion seal done popped out again, you know? So this is really just costing me time, which I can't stand. But I'm only gonna be out for about a week and a half. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call them today right after I get off the phone with you guys and call them and basically be like, y'all need to order me another thing you still and get it replaced uh, during the break. And I'm off for a uh, week and a half. And it's holiday season, so I don't really know the schedule, but see, I gotta get this done before I get back on the road because I don't wanna see this like no more. This stuff is really pissing me off. Really pissing me off. It's about the third pinion seal. Wait, yeah, the third pinion seal I've had so far so 
I'm tired. <laughs> but all right, anyway, um, I'm waiting for them to get the rest of my load. So, wait. This was been on my trailer this whole time, and they still haven't loaded me up with anything else yet. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, and the way begins. Take it easy. The next day. All right, what's going on, guys? We've just pulled up at the spot. I'm here, ready, ready for my load. But we're there right now. Uh, figuring, but I think it's those dumb things that you, you know see in my background right now. Uh, I don't know how many I'm getting. I don't know how much each way. I gotta figure that out once they load me. But um, I think they gonna require chains. I'm gonna chain it. They say you can use straps, but I don't really feel comfortable using straps on metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chains on it. They say you have to cross them, then throw one over the top of each one uh, and call it a day. Again, this is what we're looking at. I think it's 11,000 pounds, so it is what it is. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm just tired of waiting. <laughs> tired of waiting. All right, what up, what up, what up? It's Hot Shot with me here. Check it out, truck and trailer. Those little dumb things is what I'm picking up. Uh, today, so I just dropped that load off, you know, in uh, what is it, Dayton, Ohio, that tarp load, it was a little funky process, they took forever to load me, took, it was a weird unloading process, I didn't really have time to uh, catch that footage for you guys, but I'm gonna try to catch this one for you all, and, uh, you know, keep it pushing, like I said, it's those dumb things you're seeing in the background, and uh, it's gonna probably just change secure, man, you know, require some med protectors, I think 11,000 pounds, and, uh, shoot, we're gonna keep it pushing, this load's going to Texas, and, um, yeah, I'll check me out. Security process, take it easy. Before I even left out uh, the past couple days, like two days ago, I ended up having a nail in one of my tires, so I put the spare on before I left. Uh, but I don't really want to ride around with, you know, no spare tire at all. So even though I wish I, I could have been done early today, like I probably would have been done by now or in the next hour. Uh, I'm sad the love's waiting, you know, to get this spare tire uh, refixed and I'm gonna get it plugged, get the nail or get the nail taken out and then get it replugged. And I'm gonna put my spare back on the top of the truck. But kind of sucks that they gotta wait but it gotta be done and then while I was here I was able you know print out some BOLs that I needed to get printed because uh, sometimes you know you just gotta print them before you actually end up there and Loves does print you just send it to you just go to the counter uh, in case you didn't know because I didn't know this um, you just go to the counter type in the email in your email send it and uh, they'll be able to print it out because they have a printer like right there and I, I've never seen it until literally just now uh, also for those of you who are you know, hot shots that, you know, we can't really get our hot shot truck service that loves and pilots. Uh, but if you do have 17.5 uh, tires as far as your rim size, if your rim size for your tires is 70.5, they can service your tire. I believe that is the smallest one they do. I had heard about it. I was told that was a yes. And um, I pulled up and they said, yeah, they could do it. So I'm getting that done. Um, and I guess we wait. And then an update on that load. I haven't been feeling my best, so I really um, kind of got a slight little cold. But uh, just an update on the load. You know, when, when I picked it up, I ended up picking it up and having to stop at least three, like literally probably about three or four times just to recheck my load um, because my chains, you know, had came off. 
Uh, I'm about to show you guys, you know, what I ended up with, but it's really nothing much different from what you saw, aside from the fact that I, you know, um, shit, bump it. I'm gonna just show you. <clears throat> All right. So originally, ugh, wait. If you can see in the background, shoot. Originally, right here. I had both of my chains, or actually my binders, my ratchet binders, one here and one there. I had both, or one right there, and I had both of them, you know, pulling to the, I was thinking I was pulling them to the, uh, to opposite, to the opposite side of the trailer, so, I don't know, in my mind, at the time, that's what was going to work, the day, but at the end of the day, that ended up pushing the actual load forward, because with the chain, this, this is how they ended up being, they got to be crossed at a, uh, they got to be crossed at a 45 degree angle. And uh, with them being crossed the way that they are, it, it ended up pulling the load actual forward. So one of my chains was destined to come loose every single time. I didn't think about it at the time. I'm thinking of side to side movement, but I should have went from front to back movement and just put uh, the other chain, I mean the other, uh, like it is here, a shoe, like it is there that enables it, you know, to be pulling from front to back. And after I did that, I had no more issues and I, the only reason I ended up having a, like one more load issue was because the chain wasn't actually at a 45 degree angle. Uh, so I ended up having to redo that. And of course I got my, you know, my, like you see here, just running across the top. Um, and the way I had it set up originally, like it wasn't quite even. So I ended up redoing all that stuff. Like, and I was doing, you know, when you're in training for semi trucks, they tell you, you know, look for, uh, well, especially for flatbed, they go ahead and tell you, you know, every six to eight seconds, you need to be looking to your left and your right in your mirrors, you know, to check your load. That's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It really is a lot. Uh, but with this load, I ended up doing that and it saved me, you know what I'm saying? Because I was able to see when my chains got loose and um, I was able to stop stop on the side of the road and fix it. And yes, it sucks, but I'm grateful because at the end of the day, I did, I finally got the load to where my chains weren't slipping because this is a circuit load. As you can see, they were just scooting around on the side, like all over the place. And uh, because it was a circular load, you know, I just, um, I didn't really take any of that into consideration. And I was able to get it finally situated correctly where nothing was moving, nothing was coming loose before it got dark. And I was able to ride into the rest of my night with confidence because once it got dark, I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. So it's really important to, you know, keep checking, keep getting out as much as you can. You know, even though it sucks, you just got to do it. I mean, just don't be out here riding, you know, on, a <laughs> on some sort of fake leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to cut it. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to take this tire off right now. But that nail is still there, man. It's still there. And literally, I'm gonna show you guys this too. Hold on. <sighs> I mean, the air, the tire was so flat. Like, it's not even. I don't know if you guys can see this, but see, it's not even really seated to the rim really well at all. <sighs> so I'm about to get that off get it all fixed up and then I'm gonna stop literally next door um, to get some fuel because they got the mud flap in case you guys haven't heard me say it mud flap for hot shot people or for any truck driver you download the app add your card it'll tell you you know the general locations that you can get cheap diesel fuel um, and not have to you know pay an arm and a leg for you know for diesel so because right now the mud flap is running like 298 and regular price is like 350 so shoot, take your pick, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this 298 after I get this tire fixed, and uh, I'm ahead my last two hour drive uh, down the street, and then I'll be dropping this load up tomorrow morning, and then taking up another load up back. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's back up north to Illinois, and uh, I'm gonna be running pretty hard. So I definitely needed this spare just in case anything happened, because some some crazy actually really did happen. I ended up uh, right before I got here, literally five miles away, a dump truck, a uh, garbage bag fell off. This fell from up under the truck somehow. I don't know, it looked close to me, but it fell. I, I had my distance uh, of my whole 15 seconds and I was able to dodge it. And then shortly after, like not even a mile, he ended up having a blowout and I was able to stop everybody behind me, you know, cause I, I had my distance. So, you know, it's important to keep your truck driving distance because I just saved myself truck and trailer damage. I didn't hit the tire. I was able to slow everybody down, swerve it, throw on my hazards, you know, let everybody know there was an emergency situation going on in front of me and uh, keep it pushing. But yeah, I mean, beauty, beauty for, the beautiful thing about, you know, being a CDL driver is the stuff that they need to teach regular, they, they need to teach regular drivers because 
It's stuff like that that'll save you, you know, a whole world of hurt. Because normal drivers, if they would have been behind that truck, it would have been a whole other situation. So it is what it is. But I'm going to get to it. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Stay tuned. Peace. What's going on? I'm back. I dropped off that other load this morning. I wish I would have recorded it, but the thing is, you know, I got kind of tied up with the address. I mean, when I pulled up, the address wasn't um, basically wrong, and the place that I pulled up to was like a heavily secure area. Like, there was cops everywhere. Dude told me if I would have pulled up any closer to that gate, I would have just been surrounded with cops. So, I ended up having to back up all the way down the street and, you know, turn around and stuff and figure out where their actual address was. But, I ended up getting unloaded. Um, and that was a crazy process within itself, so I didn't have time to, you know, catch that for you guys. But now I'm loaded with the next load. Um, it was about an hour and a half away uh, in Houston, Texas. And I'm at a Love's right now. This is my load. They kind of secured, you know, similar to a container. You know, you just secure it on the bottom. Because nothing else is going to break, really. See, we got my edge protectors and everything. Shoot, other than that, that's really it. I mean, I'm at the Loves now. I'm debating get a shower right now because I'm kind of done for the next couple days. Uh, it's Friday. Um, and this load actually delivers on a Sunday. So I probably want to th think about giving me a shower right now, you know, top off some fluids. Um, I'm letting the truck cool down while it's idling right now. And then I'm going to shut it off. Give, uh, man, bump it. I might as well just give me a shower. And uh, let me see what else. I'm going to check this rear differential fluid. It's kind of like a tiny leak with an opinion seal. I had to beat back in. So it has a tiny droplets of a leak, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna check it out, uh, refill it with some fluid if you know if it's too low, and um, shoot. After I do that, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna get some hit, hit the road again, and then try to be parked in the next hour. But then again, uh, shoot, I don't know. It's one of those situations where I kind of want to be done, you know. I kind of want to be done for the day, and I'm gonna have an early day if I leave, if I you know do a little bit of stuff now, and then leave later. But I needed to stop to do a load check anyway, so that's why we're stopping now. As I said, probably said before. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it, you guys. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Peace. All right, what's going on, guys? Hot shot with me here on a Sunday. I did not get a good 34 hour reset because uh, this load delivers on a Sunday. This is actually what I'm delivering. It's on the back of the truck right now. Uh, as you can see, I actually had uh, some bolts right here that. I'm happy I caught them on the back of the trailer because I ended up getting the truck wash. Sure, check it out. Hey man, I'm a car guy, so I'll be loving a good, good clean vehicle. <clears throat> Truck is washed, trailer is washed. We're good to go there. I'll put some tire shine on it. Shoot, when I'm on the road, I go ahead and use that Armor All. Like it cleans it, shines it, cleans it, gets dirt off, and shines it. It's not like a super good, uh, you know, dressing or coating that you know shines it super. Super shiny, but I mean, it keeps a little black uh, while they're over the road, at least for at least while it's sunny outside. You know? This is the low, and now I just wait on the uh, fourth wheel driver to come through. I was told to meet him over here by uh, Bay 134, and then when I saw the racks over there, that's when I knew okay, this is where I'm supposed to be delivering. So, uh, I guess we're here waiting for now, and um, I guess we chill out. I'm gonna head back to that truck stop that I was at, it's only five miles away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chill out for the rest of my day. It's probably about like what 1:45 right now, and uh, I should be done probably around hopefully 2:45, 3. And then I just chill out and I watch this movie for the rest of the day. But and then on top of that, shoot, I don't know if you guys peeped it, but my Garmin it is not working. True, the junk completely broke, so we're gonna send it back and uh, try to see if we can get a new, another one. Um, that's why I always keep Trucker's Path with me um, on, my, on both of my phones. Uh, you know, I use the work, I use my work phone and my, uh, what's it called? My personal phone for two different reasons. I, well, no self-explanatory, but yeah, man, I got Trucker's Path, so that's what I'm using now, and that's what I'm running so far so good. Uh, it's usually pretty okay, but I really prefer the hardware garment because it's a bigger screen, but anyway, here come the girl. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all later, y'all take it easy, peace. I just sit down, I was tripping and taking a risk. Just cause the time running down on the clock, no, that don't mean that you got a blitz. Just chillin', be patient, keep working on you, and you'll see that thing coming in quick.